So today I'm going to do a user review on the MacBook Air M1 chip. This model is a 2020 model. I just bought it about one month ago. It got two Type C port for data delivery and then for power charging for the laptop and then one microphone port. So it's a very uh, sleek design and slim, lightweight uh, laptop. This is my first time using uh, a laptop. So this one is the 2020 model. Uh, so I bought it at a cheaper price at 3600 I'm using 36 months installment by credit card. So basically which means uh, Every month, I'm just uh, paying uh, 100 for this laptop. This is the 2020 model on the website. For 2020 model, its price is 4399 So, uh, I just want to share my user experience because much of the spec you all can get it from the internet. Uh, so, let me check on the 2020 model in four, which is uh, available online. I think still available online. Uh, 2020 model. Mm. This one, uh, first of all, I'm a long time or uh, lifetime Windows user. Lah. I never use a uh, Apple laptop before. So some of the setting and keyboard shortcut you need to learn from the laptop again. Lah. So after you get used to it, lah, it will be very convenient for you to use the keyboard shortcut key compared to Windows. Lah. So it depends on which do you prefer actually nothing to be compared like you like Windows then you use Windows a laptop you like MacBook then you use a MacBook now. So for me I got Windows laptop and also I just want to try on the MacBook so I bought the MacBook at the promotion price now. So to me I feel it's quite worth it now. So in the website uh, MacBook Air M one two zero two zero it say it can. This, this one display is a 13.3 inch display LED backlit display and then uh, it say up to 15 hours wireless web up to 18 hours Apple TV app so basically it's same as the review as my previous Honor laptop Honor laptop they claim got 8 hours long hour usage but it's in fact it's only half for me this uh, Apple MacBook is also the same it claim 15 hours so basically it might be like eight eight or nine hours long. I mostly use it at home, I didn't uh, bring it up, but when I'm using it at home right, I actually didn't uh, connect it to charging cable. I just uh, use it uh, without any charging cable and when the battery is low then I use the any type C cable to charge it up. Okay, you can use the handphone power charger also can because uh, it's only need a uh, 30 watt uh, power adapter. So the B side is the Thunderbolt USB 4 la, from here. The storage for this laptop is 256GB SSD. So to me it's a sufficient because I mostly uh, store my files inside the Google Drive and then also uh, let me adjust oh, um, never mind, la, just uh, put it like that. La, okay. So I mostly uh, store my files on the cloud la, like OneDrive I got one terabyte, one terabyte because uh, I'm using the Microsoft 365 and then I'm also using the Google Drive so this uh, MacBook uh, storage is not a problem to me lah, okay even though it's only 256GB SSD the memory wise is only 8GB lah. 8GB is also very really smooth experience lah, compared to Windows where I sometimes also facing lag when using the 16GB memory in Windows uh, owner lah, okay mm. Okay, do you see I, oh, I, I'm using the touchpad scrolling because I feel it's very smooth. Uh, I, I like to use the touchpad now, uh, see the fingers, zoom in and zoom out and then scroll up and scroll down. Sometimes I feel it more convenient than using the mouse. Uh. Mouse, I didn't use the Apple mouse uh, because to me it's very expensive. I just bought a new green mouse uh, online from Shopee about 30 or 40 ringgit only. Mm. So what else I want to talk about? About four minutes. So I think basically it's like that. Lah. If you want to know anything about this MacBook, you can put inside your comment and then I will try to reply you. 
uh, this MacBook is not cheap to me actually. If not because of the credit card installment for 36 months, which means uh, 100 ringgit per month, I wouldn't buy this uh, MacBook Air M1 2020 because to me it's not a uh, necessary thing. Uh. I just want to buy and try it. But anyhow, I find its user experience is very nice. Uh. So basically, I use this laptop just for office uses like web browsing, Microsoft Office, some basic photo editing. So the requirement on the hardware is not very high like some other people that like do video editing or do gaming. Mostly I can say this uh, MacBook Air is uh, suitable for students or for some uh, office, office workers uh, or you need a small laptop, portable laptop to print outside or you need it to sit at the Starbucks there and then show off your MacBook logo, Apple logo also can uh, just for kidding okay uh, what else uh? mm, to me I'm still using the Microsoft Edge and uh, Chrome browser in this uh, MacBook Air because I'm not used to the Safari browser. To me, uh, Chrome browser is a Google Google account, so I can see across my two, two three laptops. And Edge is using the Microsoft account and can see across different devices using the Microsoft Office 365 and the OneDrive uh, cloud. Uh. Mm, what else? Uh? I think basically it's like that. Uh. Some shortcut key is different only la. So if you just uh just Google search and then you can find the shortcut key the shortcut key combination key online. Just uh get used it to it lah. You will find actually uh the user experience is very smooth la, for MacBook Air. So because I a bit free la, to, this weekend is a three days holiday, so I just do a simple video. And I'm not, not going to edit the video as well. I just will upload it inside the YouTube. Uh, I'm not a professional YouTuber as well. So I just share my user experience and then whatever I want to share, then I share inside the YouTube. Lah. So thank you for watching.